Hello my dudes, welcome back to Minecraft Mine Colonies Byzantine. This episode, we're gonna go sushi crazy and explore the mod Sushi Go Crafting. But before we do, I've gotten a few more buildings up to level three. Let's take a look. Now number one, it was gonna be the farm and the cow hand that we got up to level two and then three. Beef isn't really a big part of sushi, but the crops that we can grow on the farm will definitely become some great, great food. Sushi Go Crafting adds a whole bunch of new seeds, and so we can plop them down in the new fields getting this building up is gonna give us. But not only that, for aesthetics as well, it's really good to get these buildings up to level three, to say goodbye to that ugly wood and welcome those lovely beige bricks. And it's so far so good for the cow hands hut because none of the cows have escaped at all. That's great news, so I can't wait to choose the crops we're gonna put in these brand new fields. But why stop there? We have a whole bunch of buildings we want to get up to level 3, including over here the restaurant. This bad boy's level 3 now and that's going to give us access to an assistant cook. Very exciting. And not only that, fish are a massive part of sushi, so we've upgraded the fisherman's hut from 2 to 3. And who could forget this guy? So cool they named maps after him. That's right, it's Atlas. We had enough mangrove now and the copper so we could finally get this statue built. So there we go, there's a few more huts we want to get up to level 3, but they're a bit bigger and a bit more ambitious, like for example, that blurry thing behind me, the tavern, and of course the hospital up on the hill. Both of those are still level 1, they need to be level 3. And definitely the university over there, that needs to be level 3 too, and when we do that, it's going to give us a school and a library. Very exciting. But those are for another time, let's make some sushi my dudes. Right, so let's get to it. Now, even though the farmer is level three, he has access to three fields, we might need a few more. <laughs> and, uh, oh, there's a party going on down here. Anyway, that's cool, but not really essential. We can use the other farms manually to grow our sushi crops until the farmer becomes a high enough level to use all the fields. So step one, let's see if we can gather the seeds we need for Sushi Go Crafting. Okay, so let's take a look. We're looking for seeds from Sushi Go Crafting. So if we type at sushi here, it'll give us all of those. And luckily enough, we've gathered some of these in the background as we've been doing things like clearing out land for the builders. So let's take a look. There's cucumber seeds, soy seeds, wasabi seeds, and rice seeds. Now, if we look at Sushi Go Crafting on the right here, we can compare this list. So rice we have, cucumber, soy, wasabi, and sesame. We don't have sesame. Well, maybe we can go and spend some of our emeralds over at the market. But sushi isn't all about vegetables. Where's the fish? Well, they've got that covered too. So there's raw tuna in here that you catch when you fish. Okay, fair enough. They look pretty cool. And there's also shrimp. Again, caught in any light level, any biome. So it could be that our fisherman has actually fished up some of those for us already. We'll have to go and have a look. There's also tools of the trade, but we're going to get onto tools of the trade once we've got the materials up and running in our farm. So let's head on over there. Oh right, yeah, emeralds and the market. Now I'm a bit nervous here. We might not actually have access to the uh, seeds over here at the market. This thing doesn't always have all the seeds you need. It's got most of the ones from almost all the mods, but you never know. Sushi Go Crafting could have fallen under the radar. So let's take a look. Sesame. Yeah, and it looks like it totally has. Sesame seeds are nowhere to be seen. And when you click on them, there's no recipe. So there's only one way to get this stuff. That's right, time to go break some grass. So I'm just gonna ulti mine this and fingers crossed we're gonna find some sesame seeds. It's probably gonna spawn like this. We'll get other seeds as well, but we're looking for the ones from Sushi Go Crafting. Now sushi is a weird food, eh? I used to hate the idea of cooked fish and so raw fish, oh my God, it made me wanna barf. But the second I tried sushi, oh my god, it was like a flavor explosion in my mouth. I was in love. Oh my god, if I could marry a food, I would marry sushi. It'd be an awkward ceremony, but a delicious honeymoon. Oh, look at this. Sesame seeds, we've got them. Amazing. Also got some other things, but these are the important things. So time to head on over to the farm and get these things planted. So field number one, let's hop on over here, right click on the field, pick a seed, and we'll say rice. Next up, the main field, which is attached to the building, and we're going to set this one as cucumber. Be careful you get the right ones though, because usually mods have different versions of the same fruit or vegetable. And last but not least, let's give him another field, and we'll say, ooh, this one here. 
And this one's going to be soy. Now, soy definitely has two different types of seeds. Yeah, there we go. Boom. But we want the one that we're going to make sushi from. Okay, very exciting. But the farmer can't get started until we hook her up with the seeds she needs. She's got a need for seed that we must heed. Yes. Yeah. So we'll give her our seeds and... Mm. Beg your pardon. Hopefully she'll get started with that. It was the rice, the cuke, and the soy. What the hell is going on over here at the farm? Now with the other remaining seeds and fields, we're going to put our own manual crops in. Here we go. Now remember, you can use Ultimine with a hoe and it makes preparing fields incredible. Oh my god. I hate having to do like long lines of uh, hoed ground. Using Ultimine is incredible with a hoe. Anyway. We want wasabi and sesame in these two fields, so we'll start with sesame. Get the bone meal and see if we can duplicate these seeds. Wait, hang on a sec, what's this? Oh my god, this is weird. So the sesame that we get from these crops, it's not just a flat thing. It has an amount of GR. I guess that's grade. Oh wow, that's very interesting. So the better quality ingredients that you can gather and use the better quality I imagine the food ends up. Look at this, perfect tuna California. That's very interesting. It's gonna make things a little bit difficult because look at the way this stuff stacks. That's not very clean. My couriers are gonna hate this over at the warehouse. Now I wanna keep an eye on Sklerbifa here because I need to make sure she's actually planting these custom seeds. Mine colonies and the farms are often a bit peculiar with modded seeds and crops. They don't always work. They're not always the greatest at planting them. Okay, here we go. This is, wait, what have you done? Oh no. Oh, of course, that's not how rice grows. So rice kind of grows underwater. So it looks like what she's doing is filling up this field with water. This is gonna get messy, <laughs> oh no. But you know what? She knows how to do it. And actually, I'm actually really impressed. This is a modded crop and she knows that she's supposed to put water on top of it. And it looks like now she's stamping the rice because she hates it so much. Oh, I hate rice. Oh, at least that's my head cannon. Anyway, we'll leave her to it because it looks like she knows what she's doing. And she's planted these crops over here as well. The soy, perfect. And the research we've done means farmers don't trample crops. So when she jumps off that water, nothing goes wrong. Oh, amazing. That research was amazing to do. So we're going to need to leave these to brew, get some crops growing in the background. Let's go and do some research and then sort out our kitchen. So bone meal for 10% more crops means 10% more sushi. Yes, please. And the plantation is an essential build. So we're going to, oh wait, requires compost. In fact, all of these require compost and podzol. Okay. Wow. Okay. So a, a composter's hut is going to be a vital thing to do. But another big one is sieving for the sifter's hut. And now that we've got the fisher's hut to level three, we can do that too. So 64 string and 64 wheat seeds. So here we go, locked and loaded. We're gonna go for bone meal, boom. And then down the line, if we can find it, the sieving machine, boom, sifter to the max. We've got so many more buildings now that we can build. It's gonna be really cool. It sucks when you run out of buildings, but we're a long way from that. So that's the research done. The farmer's still growing his crops. We're gonna have to come back later for that. But let's hit the kitchen now and start crafting some of these sushi tools. Oh man, so if you are a fan of sushi, there's some amazing documentaries out there. There's one called Jiro Dreams of Sushi. It's all about this elite sushi maker in Japan. Really cool, man. There's, there's some real art to the craft. Anyway, let's start from the start, the best place to start. The roller. We're gonna need bamboo, which we have, and string. So, bam, there is a roller. So there we go, a roller. Next up, we're gonna need a rice cooker, obviously. Light-weighted pressure pad, two gold ingots, all stuff we have access to. And thanks to the computer, very easy to make. Wait, we haven't got iron? Have we run out of iron? Oh my god. We've got some raw stuff, so I guess we can cook this up. I don't really have time to use an ore hammer right now, so we'll get just a bit down and dirty and use this iron furnace. Bam, so the roller, the rice cooker, money in the bank. A cutting board, the easiest of easies. 
a cooler box? I don't know why you need that, but sure. Wait, snow. Oh my god, wait, what? No, snow? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways to make snow, but the easiest way, obviously, is with a shovel to go and dig up some snow from a biome. So we'll put that on the back burner and move to a fermentation barrel. Boom, the fermentation barrel. So that's four of five, and now it's time to revisit the cooler box. Okay, so we can get the trapdoor, we can get the chest, that's not a problem, but this snow, it could be. Let's take a look at the map. Have I discovered any snow whatsoever? Man, you know what? I don't think I have. There's nothing here. So what we're going to do is go deep south in search of snow. It's kind of good as well because going out this way gives my farm time to grow lots of those sushi crops. So we're on the hunt for snow, but every exploration mission involves some exploration. So check this out. Look at this mystic grove. It's got some lost souls. I'm very curious. Um, it is late. I'm not sure if they'll go away when it becomes daytime though. So I'm going to go and scope it out in the middle of the night. Oh, dangerous cave. Whoa, big old dangerous cave. Spooky. So if you watch this far into the video and you like sushi, let me know in the comment section what your favorite sushi is, and I will like and heart the comments. Now, if you don't like sushi, get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't like sushi, that's totally cool too. And also say in the comment section, I hate sushi. And I will thumbs up and like that comment too. Because you know what? It's fine to like what you like. Where are these lost souls? I guess they've just gone. There was, there's a brown bear, a finch, a butterfly. These aren't lost souls. They are cool though. This bear could be deadly though. He looks friendly. Are you friendly, brown bear? Hello? Can I, can I pet you? Can I pet you? I can push you. Yeah, I know. He's a friendly dude. Amazing. What's this blue stuff? Why am I cold? Wait, does he have snow? There we go. Good riddance. Happy mornings. Wait, what? Oh my god, he's back. Well, I want to get some of these blue flowers because they look amazing. But let's just get out of here. Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm almost dead. This is this is this is one of the first times I've died. Oh, that was close. Aha, so I have travelled far and wide, and finally on the top of those trees, I can see snow. Let's hope there's some more snow on the ground up there. Oh my god, though. I've really trekked across the globe looking for this stuff, and it's getting to night time. If there's a raid now back at the colony, that's going to be the worst timing. Aha, yes, now there's no snow blocks, but there's snow on the ground which you can dig up with a shovel. Now, are you telling me I didn't bring a shovel? Oh my god. Well, luckily enough, we're resourceful Minecrafters, we can make one. So there we go, a healthier array of snow. Let's get back to base. Oh my god, whoa, what... What the hell is this? This is an actual Stargate as well. Can we use the Stargate to be get back home quicker? The Milky Way DHD. Oh my god. And the final chevron. Invalid address. Oh man, but this is really cool. I love this mod. I really want to check it out, but I have no idea where to start with it. Anyway, we're going to use a waystone now. I'm going to call this the Stargate, because why not? Good place to put it. And let's head home. So there we go, the last piece of the puzzle. It's a cooler box, and now we have everything we need. Let's go and put this in our kitchen. Aw, oh, man. Now I feel like we can use some of this counter space for maybe the roller and the cutting board. That's going to look pretty good. Bam, the roller, and bam, the cutting board. Now they kind of float a little bit. In fact, you know what? No, I don't like that they float, so we're going to create some counter space over here on this side of things. So we want the roller. We want the cutting board. We're going to put down also the rice cooker. The fermentation barrel, I think, has to stand on its own. Yeah, there we go. The rice cooker can go there. Oh man, that's a big beast. And last but not least, the cooler box can also go on its own somewhere else. So I'm thinking maybe there. Yeah, why not? 
So the cooler box is literally just a box where you can put, I guess, fish. And I wonder if things just don't spoil in there. That could be how it goes. The fermentation barrel, where I guess you ferment stuff. Not quite sure how that works either. And there we go, we've got our sushi kitchen set up. Let's go now over to the farm and see if this guy has gathered some of the stuff we're gonna need. Alrighty, yeah, things are looking pretty great over here. We'll just do a bit of manual gathering for now. Lovely stuff, there's some wasabi. What else have we got going on over here? Right, so we want some sesame. And this is the stuff that can have different qualities, so it really is gonna fill up your pack. But there we go, pretty good so far. Oh, but look at this rice field, so messy. And in fact, all of this water is really slowing Sclerbetha down. So that's a little bit of fruit and veg. What about fish? Now our fishermen must be fishing up these fishermen recipes. Now I don't even know if our fishermen can actually fish up tuna. Fishers used to fish up aquaculture stuff, so they do have the possibility of gathering anything that can drop from a fishing rod. So let's go and check the fisherman's hut and then the warehouse to see if there's anything knocking around. How's it going, Jade? Oh, you're looking amazing for a fisher. So she's got, let's see, tentacles. Oh my god, I knew it. We were long overdue a raid. Now, like I said, we're going to try and let the guards deal with this one. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. We could be in trouble. It's Amazons. Those famous enemies of the Byzantinian Empire, the Amazons of the Amazon rainforest. Oh, look, there they are on the map. And oh my god, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these dudes. This could be a massacre. Now I'm gonna hang around in reserve. I'm not gonna kill anybody unless the situation becomes dire. So basically, yeah, I am the last line of defense. It looks like though, the guards have already killed somebody? No, I think the Amazons have just fallen over themselves and died. Maybe that bee stung them. Maybe one of them has a bee allergy. Anyway, they're coming over the walls this way. But they're taking a real roundabout way to get in, aren't they? Oh my god, yeah, they're going around the front of the walls. Yep, there they go. Oh my god, these absolute scrub lords, what are they doing? Couldn't they just go down the cliff? I guess maybe it's too steep for them, but that's pretty cool. I guess it means our walls do work. Man, if we had archers up on the walls, we could be raining down fire on these dudes. So maybe archers are a thing to think about. Well, here they come, and so far our guards just do not care. Like, they could, they could not care less that there's Amazons in the colony. Oh, it's Soul 101. Come on, dude, turn around. Defend yourself. He doesn't even know. Ow! Oh, random nerd, the legend. No fear, fearless warrior. Go on, get him. Oh, no, random's gonna get boned. This is not good. Uh, oh, my God, yeah, two kills. Go on, get him. Three kills. Oh, my God, random nerd MVP. Four kills. Just the stragglers now to deal with. Oh no, here they go. They, they Wait, did they dig through the wall? Now, they're hitting a the guy with no armor at the moment, but doesn't matter because Usagi B needs no armor. Boom! Oh my god, slain! Good job, Usagi. It's okay, you, you, you killed them. Is that PTSD? So how did they break in? Did they break through the wall? I'm looking... Oh my god, yeah, look at this! They smashed through the wall trying to get in. They tried ladders first, but realized, actually, screw that. And then just started to smash through the wall. That's really cool. I didn't know they could do that. And we're going to have to repair this. Anyway, back to sushi. So the fishermen had no tuna, but maybe they fished some up. Maybe there's some in the warehouse. But don't think I'm seeing any right now. Raw silver. Okay, interesting. Ancient tomes. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but no tuna. Oh, man, I do love the way the fisherman's hut looks at level three. From two to three was a massive visual upgrade. So, Jade, how's it going? Have a baked potato on me and also have some fishing rods on me. And so while Jade is going to fish, we're also going to fish ourselves because I don't want to wait for her to gather some tuna. I reckon we can find some of our own. Oh, got one. Nice. Wait, oh my god, what? I fished up a bee? I didn't even know you could do that. A water bee. Oh my god. And the son of a gun's poisoned me. Get out of here, scumbag. Well, okay, let's try again. Oh, there we go. Wait, another bee? Oh, I'm ready for you this time, son. Gotcha. Nice. 
Anyway, I'm going to keep fishing and I'll come back to you guys once I've caught some tuna and some shrimp. How are you doing? Jade, catching anything? Anything biting today, lass? Oh, what's this? No, cod. Oh, you again? You piece of trash. So four bits of tuna and one shrimp. That's going to have to do. How are you doing, Jade? You catching? Oh, Jade got a shrimp as well. Nice. So we're good to go. Oh, also, I was worried about the prismarine that was going to be required over the tavern, but it looks like Jade can actually catch prismarine. There's a small chance. So maybe we're not going to have to raid that temple after all. So here we go. I've got a whole bunch of ingredients. The things we haven't got, though, are avocados. You need to find special trees out in the world, and I'm not quite sure where those are going to spawn. I'll keep my eyes peeled for them in future, but yeah. So first up, let's see what tuna is used for. Okay, so we can make fish and chips, because it's a regular kind of tuna. But also, what else can we do? The cutting board? Right, tuna fillet. Okay, so I'm going to need a knife for this as well, right? What are the tools required? A cleaver knife? Yeah, and that's about it. So here we go, tuna on the cutting board, money in the bank, food in my belly. Right click on this. Oh yeah, look at the way that fish wriggles while we're chopping it. Very spooky. Ah, uh, right, and this also gets a grade as well when we chop it. Cool, so we've got some tuna fillets now. What are these used for? We're going to pick the best one that we have, which I think is grade 2,504. Not amazing, but not terrible. So we put this in a roller with some cooked rice and some nori sheets. Where do we get nori from? Now we're also going to put, now we're also going to put some soy in the fermentation barrel because this is how you make soy sauce. So we'll put just three in here. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take. It could be a while. So the soybeans go in the fermentation barrel. We also need, what is this stuff? Yeah, water. So water and soy make soy sauce. We've got the soy in here. Let's go and grab some water. Might as well just use a bucket. So we put the water in the fermentation barrel. There we go. Oh, and that's quite a quick craft of soy sauce. I was worried this thing was going to take forever. Oh, and this also gets a grade. Interesting. Everything's graded in this. I feel like I'm back at school. So now we've got some soy sauce. We've got some tuna fillet. Let's see what else we can make with this. So the tuna fillet is used in the roller with nori, cooked rice, and the tuna fillet. We can make the cooked rice, I guess, in this rice cooker by putting rice in here and then we'll need fuel. Uh, probably wood. Is wood going to be fine? Yeah, some wood smoked rice. Yeah, there we go. Wait. Oh, and some fluid as well. Of course, yeah. Rice needs water. Oh, you can just right click it in from the sink. Amazing. Oh, look at that. It's steaming as well. This, this mod is surprisingly well thought out. But there we go. It's not very good, but it is some cooked rice. Now, Nori. Oh, you know what, my dudes? We've been sleeping completely. Look at this. There's actually a guide. All we need is kelp and a book. Let's go and make one of these. Ah, oh. Well, I thought this mod was pretty intuitive. We worked out most of this stuff on our own. But it's always handy to have a book to tell you where you're going wrong. So let's consult the manual. Getting started. Eating effects. Right, yeah. Different types of ingredients make different types of sushi. Oh, different effects to make your food better. Oh, nice. Right, so different types of sushi have different kind of buffs. That's pretty cool. So shrimp gets you steady hands. Oh, right. So you make sushi that buffs you so that you can become better at sushi and you can make better sushi. That's very cool. Oh, well, okay. So nori. To get nori, you will need to find some kelp in the oceans and make a dried kelp block, then squash it by dropping an item between an iron block and a piston. Is that for real? Um, okay, I think we can do that. Okay, so we've got the piston, the iron block, and a lever that's going to smash it. Now let's go and grab some dried kelp. There we go. Ah, it worked. Amazing. And we got how much nori from that? Okay, five. So a pretty good turnover. So with that in mind now, we're going to put the tuna fillet in here, the best of the best. Oh yeah, nothing but the finest. The worst cooked rice on the planet. Some nori sheets over there. We're going to add, uh, I guess, soy sauce from in here. Like that. But now we're in trouble. What is this? Oh, no, right. So these things down the bottom are optional. And on the left, we get different types of sushi we can make. So there's maki, 
Gunkan, California, Nigiri, Onigiri, and Tamaki. Aha, so avocado is found mostly in plains biomes anywhere in the world, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. Also, tuna and shrimp is only caught in the ocean, so I don't know how we got it in the river. I guess maybe our river is classed as ocean, or maybe there was something else at play there. But what's tobiko? Oh, you can get tobiko from killing fishes. Oh, interesting, like with a sword. And seaweed is obviously found in the oceans. Well, all right then, we have all of these materials. We have the soy sauce. Let's try rolling this. Left click to make one. You have discovered a new perfect weight. Oh my God, I'm a natural, guys. I'm a natural sushi chef. And look at this, boom. So is it perfect? No, it's almost hollow and that's in red. So I think that means it's bad, but let's have an eat and see what this gives us. Oh, so now we have acquired taste and acquired taste is... Here we go, so steady hands, acquired taste. Eating when having this potion effect will give extra food. Oh cool, right, so you have one of those and then you eat your regular meal and you'll get more hearts from it, I guess? I think maybe the mod maker is Japanese and there's a little bit of lost in translation going on here. But this is really cool. Oh man, we've got a little sushi kitchen here and this mod is insanely cool and fun to do. It really does put a different twist on creating food. Oh man, I love it. What about sushi onigiri? Oh no, no, look, you can just make straight up onigiri if you want it. So let's make one of those, bit of soy. So what is wasabi used for? There must be a way to make wasabi pastes. Aha, in the cutting board, let's chop up some wasabi. So, do do do. If I had steady hands, I'd get much higher grade wasabi here. But this stuff's pretty okay. In fact, there's, uh, oh yeah, some pretty high grade stuff over here. So one more time with some wasabi paste in here. And we've got some tuna nigiri, and this is slightly better. Oh my god, though, look at the saturation on this. This is times 16 versus a baked potato, which is times three. Tuna nigiri is incredible. So sushi is not only a really interesting and fun thing to make, but as a food stuff, it is really, really, really cool. Now, I thought maybe we'd be able to get our restaurant to actually make stuff from this mod. Maybe the chef could be taught to make sushi, but there's no way, no way in hell. This is way too complicated for my guys over at the restaurant. So they're gonna have to stick with their good old baked potatoes for now. But thank you for watching this episode of Minecraft Mine Colony's Byzantine. This episode, we've got a few buildings upgraded over at the agricultural district, upgraded our fisherman's hut and our restaurant, and we learned how to make sushi. It's really fun, really amazing, and I encourage you to give it a go because it's a really cool source of food with a few twists. Next episode, I'm not quite sure what we'll do. Maybe we'll get the stonemasons hut down, but maybe also I've been looking at expanding the walls and building the retail district. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite sushi is, of course, and take care.